Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ESQ.NETCore and today I am going to teach you about uh, one, to one, uh, one to many mapping a relationship and uh, many to many relationship in uh, ASP.NET Core with Blazor. Blazor WebAssembly is a front-end assembly you know and you know that provide a more robust application for you. Okay, so that is an example of your one to many and many to many example of your booking and uh, example so if you want to create a new book like that if you want to create a new book so this form will be uh, just create in your blazer that is book form like book title book description book isbn and choose the big uh, um, book image also like that suppose i i choose this content and this is types of book so this is choose image development uh, clothes the, these are the category that is the unselected categories and I select the author also like uh, I have select the Ramesh so the list will be pop up here with the uh, typo head component I install it in in my uh, project so here we have a uh, author so select this one Th that uh, author is selected right now okay so that is the um, many to many relationship uh, with the you know these are the categories okay so a product have multiple categories also or you can say a book have multiple categories like that or a category have multiple products so many, many to many between so a author is you know uh, a Ramesh is actually uh, attached with this book and you know uh, other author like uh, this author is also attached with this uh, book so uh, the relationship between the author and the book is also many to many so before going too much more detail, I want to show something. This is my membership plan and I will provide you a complete video tutorial on .NET Core. This is not a simple video tutorial. It's a project based video tutorial and I will provide you a basic to intermediate to advanced video tutorial on .NET Core. I will give you complete video tutorial and I will give you complete source code with uh, along with this. Okay. And resource material also. So uh, .NET Core, Dapper, REST API, Angular, .Entity Framework Core, MS Test Units, .NET Blazor, Unit Testing, HTML5, jQuery, CSS, SQL Server, and React in just 800 rupees. Only pay 800 rupees and get this membership. Okay, and dollar 15 for the other country user. If you are belong from other country like US, UK, Australia, uh, and uh, you know European countries like that. So just uh, uh, pay a dollar fifteen uh, by using PayPal and fill this form if you want to get this membership. I will provide you complete video tutorials on these technology and these technologies based on projects. Okay, so if you want to get this membership, just fill this form that is full stack development and your name, your email ID, your contact number, transaction reference ID, order ID, or PayPal ID. And if you are belong from India, just pay using UPI IDs, just 800 rupees. And if you are uh, belong from other country, just pay using PayPal. This is my PayPal ID, narinkumar gmail.com And you can use this square uh, code also and pay $1.15 for other country users. Okay. So uh, if you want to get this membership, uh, guys, trust me, it's amazing content I will provide you. So continue with this. Uh, so this is the relationship between the book and the categories that is many to many. And uh, also a book have um, relationship between between the book and the author is also many to many. And this is also a how to upload a image in uh, uh, with the help of Blazor. I will uh, give you an example. And this is your multi selector list also many to many in the help and also i will provide you authentication and authorization feature like that just use logout and in the super admin account also i will provide you a complete list of authors with your pagings so paging is also uh, you know uh, i will provide you tutorials uh, in this series and this is authentication and authorizations the roles is also there categories is also there and create a new book like that so that data will more sufficient if you want to create a new project in your with the help of Blazor. So if you want to get the code here, we have here uh, I have a code 
uh, and I will provide you a complete code like that. Uh, uh, this is one is a clean student management billing system that is is existing in ASP.NET MVC and this is also ASP.NET MVC code and this is my Blazor code that relationship between the client and server uh, server that is and here we have a controllers like accounts controller authors controller and all so these are the entity in the shared project and here we have a details like that these are the details these are the entities like author, book, book author, book categories and category. So a book author and the book category is a junction table between the book and the book categories. And these are the details which is used in our project. And here we have a data section uh, where we have application DB context. And you know, and these are the pages uh, in server project. And these are the pages in the client project that is authentication, authors, books, categories, users and how to handle a generic list also in uh, also we use repositories like that account repositories author repositories book repositories category repositories and all with the help of interfaces and this is a shared project and where we have a nav menu um, nav menu and these are the uh, components that is the custom component like multi selection type of component multi selection and image component, a generic list component, authentication links component, survey prompts and all. Okay. So the, that is that project I will provide you in a membership and I, you and also uh, video tutorials. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to Blazor and .NET Core.